Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my podcast today, My Crafting Life. What have I been up to this past week? Well, I have some gift mail to share with you. A few finished objects and my online purchase fail. Yes, my fail. So let's get started. Well, let's talk about the online purchase fail because it's the elephant in the room. I decided as some of my subscribers will know who are following me and enjoying in, I'm doing a make along for six months called Shutterbug AU. And I saw these great t-shirts online and I thought oh, it'd be awesome to have a t-shirt to wear every time I do a Shutterbug video. Hence the t-shirt. So I bought one, a 2XL, thinking, oh yeah, it might be a bit big, but I can wear it to slob around the house in. Well, the 2XL is very, very small. We measured it against one of Thing's t-shirts. Thing is a medium to just under a large, and it is smaller than that. And Gertrude, I think I call her Gertrude, I can't remember, is this like a 12, 10 to 12 Australian size and that is just slightly big on Gertrude no way is it a 2XL and is it gonna fit me so first time ever probably the last time I'll just cover I bought it from Redbubble which Reeves advises me is like buying from Amazon or Etsy independent designers so my Shutterbug t-shirt I plan to wear in my videos will be on Gertrude because there's no way it is ever going to fit me. Even though it's a 2XL online purchase fail. I don't usually buy clothes online. I've bought one other t-shirt before. It was a Bag O' Day crochet t-shirt and I bought the 2XL and it was awesome. I wore it to death. It was big, sloppy, I could wear it on videos, I could wear it around the house as a sloppy joe type t-shirt and I loved it. And I thought, why not do this with this one? I should have known. The 2XL must be a very small, maybe a child 2XL, who knows. But you live and learn. I don't think I'll be buying any clothes online. So, my happy gift. I had a visit from my friend Ulia in my office earlier in the week and she brought me a few things, a gifts. So first of all, and I think he's beautiful, she brought me this white bear polar bear Christmas decoration for next year's Christmas tree. Isn't he cute? I really like him. She brought me that one. I'll just put him over here and rest him on the tissue. And she knows, because we talk quite a bit at Crochet for Cancer meetups and other meetups, um, that I've been chasing buttons because I like to recycle buttons when I do the tea towel toppers. And generally they're about the size of an Australian 10 cent piece of the ones I like. I have used smaller. I rarely go much bigger than that. And they've been hard to get from thrift shops. And she said, oh, I've got a few buttons. I'll have a look through for you. So, sure enough, she turned up with some buttons in here. This is chock of block full of buttons. I'll try and turn it up without tipping it up. These are her few buttons she gave me. And apparently she still has a lot at home. There are lots of red, red being her favourite colour. There's some smiley face ones, hot pink. Look guys, there's never a, am I going to use all these buttons. So drop me an email if you need some 10 cent size buttons and what colour. And if my budget allows it, I will send them to you. I will pay for the mail. But don't inundate me with um, requests. Because I don't know when I'll get around to it and I don't know how big my budget will be. But I am willing to share the buttons with my subscribers in case you need a few but remember majority of them are red and they're just a few little buttons and I must thank Ulia we were supposed to go to crochet for cancer yesterday Saturday she wasn't feeling well Friday night and sure enough Saturday I felt blah. 
it's Sunday today we've had a lot of rain again the, the air pressure is different it gives me headaches um, we've been on a water warning not to use too much water not because there isn't enough but the stormwater drains and the drains aren't coping so we don't want any more flash flooding but it is finally sunny late afternoon Sunday and I thought why not do a video and share my buttons with you I'll just put them down here so I don't knock them over finished objects I'll just check my notes where I'm at right I'm doing the bod hatapalooza and I said I wouldn't do every one and I did sort of hesitate over this week's choice but I thought why not because I have a lot of this um, Spotlight USA style super saver in this color what I call petrol it doesn't really have a name and I have been fortunate enough that Reeves has been caking up my partly used balls of yarn and he caked this one up for me and he caked another one up for me and I thought well I'll give this week's bod had a palooza a go the reason I bought it is make the headband and then you work bottom up and I'm not great with crocheted beanies that work bottom up I prefer top down that's crochet knitting I like bottom up but crochet mm, I don't always like them and I balked at this tutorial for bod had a palooza but I did make it and I used a five millimeter crochet hook which is pretty standard for me for crystals beanie tutorials because they work out to be the great size for me to donate and even though my model's head is a little sort small and it looks a bit slouchy here is my bod had a palooza for this week it actually turned out really well you do get this sort of ridge at the back that might be just me my crochet technique but there you go because you make the band and then you pick up you crochet single crochets and work up and I'm not keen on that let me know in the comments below if you like that and are there some ways you can improve the technique now do I have written down which one it was it is I didn't write it down I'll put a link to the tutorial in the description below in case you want to try it it actually turned out probably a hundred percent better than I thought it would and I can still donate it to charity it's a great, great um, flat color which they've been asking for and yeah considering I wasn't keen it turned out pretty good so my other finished object came about because I made a sale in my Etsy shop yes I haven't made a sale I think probably October last year a lady bought a pattern and gave me not a very great review not on the pattern because she had to do the capture traffic light test to buy the pattern and she didn't put a great review over that she doesn't want to remove it and Etsy won't remove it so that dropped my star rating to four instead of five and since then people have looked but not bought anything well I actually sold something this week I sold two tea cozies like there it's a one cup teapot and I made two and I sold them as a duo like you could get two full little tea cozies and a lady has bought them in New South Wales and that really thought made me think I really need to do something about my Etsy shop put some new things in there get more enthusiastic about it I no longer sell my patterns in there I sell them on Kofi or Ravelry in their tea cozy patterns so with that in mind I was because I've been going through my yarn stock and using my stash instead of my cash and I found this ball of yarn that I really liked the color lovely and bright and it was Mandela gnome this one Ta -da! and I've made this tutorial before and I really loved it and I've had it in my Etsy shop and it's sold and I've sold it on markets and I don't know why I stopped making it maybe like Reeb said when a hobby becomes a business you lose the enjoyment so I really did enjoy making the snuggly bunny lovey Ta -da! in the Mandela gnome colors 
Now I did color control it. This is a tutorial by Ninja Bunny Crochet. And I, I've done a few of her tutorials. I do like them. They're really great. They're really well explained. There'll be a link to this one in the description below. See, the only thing I did different was color control it and I used a smaller hook for this bit. I used a four millimeter because I didn't want it as open. But I think it turned out lovely. And even if I don't put it in my Etsy shop, it will sell on my charity market store. Um, she uses Mandela Sparkle, but this is just the flat Mandela. What do they call it? Just Mandela. Iron Brown Mandela in the colour gnome. And there's 540 metres. It's acrylic. It's a 150 gram ball. And the colour controlling is that I kept all the little bits in a bag. Because the idea being is if I made a project and I have scraps left over, then I have to try and come up with a scrap project straight away to use those up. But there you have it. My snuggly bunny lovey. So I think he turned out really cute. I like the sleepy eyes. His ears keep dropping, but that's just the way it is. So that was finished object number two. I don't have a lot of finished objects for you because I have been working on some whips that I carried over from 2023. One of them's a wearable. I haven't got that with me to show you. It's really not worth showing you at the moment. It's going to take me a while to finish it, but I do want to finish it. The other is my advent blanket. I'll just pause the video and I'll get it to show you. So my advent blanket is the Rain, and Shine, Rain or Shine blanket by Stephen West. And I've been using my Advent Minis until I reach the point where it's time to decrease. And I've used more Minis and leftover Advents from last year. And I am decreasing. And it is looking beautiful and colourful. It is very big. That's about as much as I can show you. But the last time I showed you was the start of the decrease, I think. Which was there. And I've done that much. There's a polar bear, Ta -da! my Christmas polar bear, and my decreasing. It's going well, and I really am still enjoying it. It's just a case of I want to make other things and take a break from it, and I really do want to finish some of my whips from 2023. So I only took five into 2024, which is great for me because five is what I like. And I have been working on using my yarns that I have in my stock and not, as the hashtag says, stash instead of cash in 2024 and saving for a rainy day, which we're having a lot of at the moment here in the tropics. The weather has been quite bad, but it's um, not as bad as when we were flooded. But every time it starts pouring with rain, I get a bit of anxiety about whether the drain's going to cope and whether we're going to get flooded again. So that's just life. Uh, my aim this year is to hashtag gifts of kindness, use the gifts that people have sent me, whether it be yarn or pattern, um, appreciate the kindness in which they were sent, try to spread kindness and be a better human being. That's my motto for 2024. I hope you have a new motto. I hope you're enjoying all the things you are crafting. Make sure you check out Shutterbug AU. There'll be the second video out tomorrow and it's never too late to join us. We have a lot of fun and there's some really interesting makes. So until next time, stay well, take care and make sure you have one crafty day this coming week. Bye for now.